let's get started. This is an assembly video. I'm going to try to uh, carry this video to the end. Uh, I'm going to deal with the gluing the boom on a pod. After that, we're going to put the, um, the hinge on the tails. Okay, first thing that you want to do when you glue the boom to the pod, I'm going to use epoxy. Epoxy likes a rough surface, so you want to take all this shininess, all the shine away from it. You want to see a pretty dull surface over there. Really anything is gonna work as long as you get it done. And obviously I bolted the wing on a pod because we need to align the wing. So, get inside there. Maybe just put there you go. When you do this I'm putting the pressure in the center kind of balancing it out. See you don't want to just do that because you're gonna crack it open. Actually, I'm using these two fingers to do that with them. Yeah, something like this. A little support, but primarily all, all my work is done here with these three fingers. Alright, good. That's that. You can always rig the plane just like this, just to something, some equal reference, 90 degrees, blocks, whatever, you know, uh, really anything is going to work when it comes to this, but because I don't have the control surfaces on the plane, it is also very easy to just sight like this from the back and just eyeball it in place. Um, your eyesight is very precise. If it looks right, it's probably right. Um, so I'm not going to do any of this. I'm just going to set them on the side. Uh, primarily, it's because I don't have the time for that. I'm going to use five minute epoxy on this joint, which is maybe not the best thing, but uh, it's what I have right now on hand. I can go five minutes or I can go with a MGS epoxy, but MGS takes a long time to cure and all that good stuff. So, uh, because I want to move on tonight and I don't have much time on my hands, I'm just going to glue it with five minutes. And the problem with five minutes, five minutes don't give you a whole lot of working time to do, to put on a block, eyeball and stuff like that. By the time you do all the stuff, this it's already hardening and so it's kind of hard to do it that way so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna hold the plane like this with the nose down and I'm gonna look down as I push the boom in place right and when you glue the boom right you don't want to look down the boom like this or like that you just want to side straight down the boom and when you have the horizontal in place and the wing over there because we do not have any uh, control surfaces on a um, attached it's very easy to side through it now if we had the control surfaces attached and if the control surfaces it's a little bit off like this or a little bit off like that uh, you know it can make it will make your life a bit harder to figure out where you are at but I think not having it in place it's actually a positive thing to have so 
when you glue your wing on just make sure you sight right down the boom just like that you don't want to look like that from one side you don't want to look from the other side you just straight down like you're aiming at something okay uh, make sure your bolts are tightened and I'm gonna double check it right now so you want to be you know snug in place you don't want to have things moving around and find out that you glue this in place and then you know the bolts were loose and when you tighten up next time it's just everything is crooked and whatever right so make sure the bolts are tight well obviously this one is glued in place i don't have to worry about so this is it i'm just gonna mix some epoxy and i'll just glue it so before I even mix the epoxy, I don't want to waste any time later on. So I'm going to take this apart. So it's ready for me to put the epoxy on. I'm going to put my boom on the side. Now the boom is going to be ready. I'm using Q-tips to mix up the epoxy. And you can use, also use this fluffy side to spread it around and stuff like that. So once I start mixing, I have to move really, really quick. So here we go. Just a little bit, you don't need a whole lot. And clock is ticking. Mixing it real good, real fast, as good and as quick as I can. You wanna make sure you, you mix it real, real good. Okay. There you go, done deal. I'm just gonna use the back side of the stick that which I used to mix. And all you want to do is just have a nice coat of epoxy on the inside. You can check it out. Alright. I'm going to do the same thing on the back of the boom. Ah, I'm sorry, back of the pod. You don't need a whole lot of epoxy here because the fit is very very nice but you want to have a film of it covering it so i'm going to just take the boom on spin it around like that let's make sure i get a nice coat of epoxy q-tip and I'm gonna wipe down, I'm gonna get down in there on the back side because I don't want to add extra weight. So here we go. It's like that. I'm gonna put it straight down. Get as accurate as I can. And just push it forward until it bottoms out. And I'm looking straight down the boom and needs to twist this way a little bit, not a problem. And this looks perfect. Now I can, what I'm gonna do now I'm going to take this Q-tip and clean up the excess. When you place the plane down right now, you don't you want to make sure you don't touch the tail or anything like that. Uh, I'm looking for a towel. Alcohol is a very good medium to wipe down the excess epoxy. So what I have in my hand is a towel with alcohol on it. I'm wiping down carefully all the excess here. Back. 
double check again, just in case we move something. Again, it looks perfect, so I'm just gonna let it go. So right now my boom is in place. Later on, what I'm gonna do in a fit with a composite pot, you have a thread of Kevlar, you wanna take this thread and go in the front of the boom and give it a few wraps around and you just want to go uh, you want to wrap it nicely side by side so that's uh, this Kevlar is gonna prevent the boom from splitting up because this is the part where he wants to split up during a hard launch and uh, All right, so have the boom in place. I'm gonna let it go for a few minutes um, and uh, meanwhile, let's see what can we do. Okay, uh, right now we can do something else. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the horns in here. Something I can do while the boom is going to uh, cure. And speaking of which, I want to say something about the horns here. Yeah. Uh, the the flaps in the kit doesn't come with this cutout because I didn't know. Maybe you guys want to go with a um, four and a pod options in which this is going to be meaningless. You have to fill it in and whatever, right? When I cut this, what I did, I just took the two pieces of flaps and I overlap them like that one on top of each other and then I put them on the side of the wing I mark the place where I need to do the cutout and after I marked the, the place for a cutout I took the zona so put them like that together I just cut it out right and after I cut it out I took a piece of sanding paper fold it in half like this and uh, um, because it was, and I use this like a like a sanding block, and you just cut through the uh, cut through it to make the slot. Uh, what I found out this, even though I put this piece in two, uh, in two, was not thick enough. So what I did, I just added another piece in between them to make it a little bit wider, and I cut it out. And obviously, this is done before you put the leading edge on. Um, so actually when you have the stock flaps before you even put the leading edge on, that's when you do this. And uh, uh, that's about it. So right now I was going to install the uh, control horns for the flaps. It's pretty simple. Nothing special about it. I'm just going to cut the skin. Make sure you cut the bottom side of the skin. Unless you do a top drive in which you are on your own. And uh, so I just cut the bottom side of the skin. That's good. And I'm going to use some medium CA for this. First, I'm going to check to make sure that the control, horn, the control horn goes inside. And what I want to do, I want to bottom out on this surface. So I'm going to put this flat down and when I put the control horn inside, I'm just going to make sure that I push it all the way down, right? So, um, just double check, make sure this is flowing. Yep. And I'm gonna get it down in there like that. I'm just gonna use the control horn, bottom out, and I'm sliding it forward. That's good. I'm gonna grab a Q-tip. I'm 
wipe the excess off and that's it number two same thing this is really simple you know what I'm gonna take the plane move it around a little bit so I don't bump into it or something like that just give it a chance to deposit to harden a little bit When you make the slots for the control horn, you're gonna make them a little bit wide enough so it's gonna slide nicely inside, uh, but not too tight. You wanna have some oh, a bit of a loose fit in there. All right. Now I'm gonna take this opportunity to put the control horn on the rudder as well. So um, the control horn is gonna be opposite from the hinge, right? So it comes from this side. And I'll do the same thing as before. I fill it in. With epoxy. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's super glue. Put it down and take a new Q tip, clean it out, and we have control horns inside. All right. Now, for the next step, um, the next step will be to hinge the surfaces, okay? So, uh, I dropped it. All right, I think it's a, it's a drop of something there. Anyways. So, I wanna hinge the surfaces. What I'm gonna do when you hinge the surfaces, it just uh, the biggest problem you have when you hinge the surfaces you make them too tight and they, they touch over there they're just too tight and they don't want to move freely so you want to make sure you're on a, on a maximum movement put a little piece of tape around it make sure you put a tab on it so it's easily removable right and you do that in in several spots you just so uh, Let's say you put this control surface over here, right? So what I would do, take yourself a few pieces of tape, like this, put them on one side. Three, four of them, depending on how big the surface is. So, what I would do now, I would just take this surface and move it over until you bottom out. And after that, you take the tape, pull it, and tack it in place. So, this is pretty much what we're gonna do. when we put it over there, right? So now we have nice movement to it, right? And you're gonna notice that it's a ever, it's a very slight gap in there. I mean, just they are actually not touching in this neutral position. It's just a little bit of a gap in there.
There's movie star. <laughs> Smart cat. Big boy. I just wanted to show you the different types of um, hinge styles that exist out there. This is the most simple style. It's just a single layer of tape. What this style does, it wants to do that and come apart. Not exactly the best one. After that, you have this style here. If you can see it. You have tapes. You have tapes like that. And what is the way this style is made is you take um, you take two pieces of tape. I'm going to show you a little quick example here. So you have the tape. Cut it into. You flip it over. And you tape it to itself, right? So you tape it to itself. And what you do, you go on one side, tape it on the stabilizer, right? And that common ground goes down. And you go on the other side. Like that so you kind of get the idea go top to bottom so obviously you put one on top the other one comes from the bottom to the top and what you do you take these guys you fold them over you put your two surfaces together and after that you flip it over and you tape the rest of it that's how it works so this is pretty good. Um, this system is very good and it doesn't do that scissoring effect when you, when you go like this in this direction, okay? So this is pretty good, but he wants to do this. See that? He wants to do that. So, in one case, he wants to do this, like that. In the other case, he wants to do this, in and out. So, you have a third style, which is this one, okay? And what you do, you add to it a single piece of tape on the other side. And this is the best of all worlds. It doesn't want to do that. It doesn't want to do that. It's a very good hinge. So pretty much this is what we're going to put on our uh, control surfaces. Um, in particular, um, you can get away with this one. Just the single one, right? You can get away with this, but what you probably want to do, you want to do a combination of the two and do a little zigzag here on a tip with two pieces, that's just like one, two, one going from the top to the bottom and one, one the opposite way, right? And you may want to put two more here or maybe four more here around the center section we have the spring and the push rod and you probably want to make two here too as well on tape and after that just put a single piece of tape all across and you're done so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put the tapes on this side first, I'm going to fold them over, then I'm going to put, put it upside down, 
with a horn opposite direction and I'm going to bring them together and I'm going to get my tapes pull them from here over and from here onto the other side all the all the zigzagging pattern that goes all over the place right and after that I'm going to put it right side out flat on the table I maybe I'm going to put some uh, piece of scotch tape to hold things together or just have like a second hand for me and I'm just going to come and put a single piece of uh, tape on top of it uh, and on the rudder I'm going to do the same exact thing so here we go you're going to keep your table as clean as possible this tape likes, likes to stick on things and pick the dirt up and then you end up with this on your plane. So just try to keep it as clean or use a clean spot to do this. So, so here we go. I'm just gonna do it in my hand. I'm not gonna drop it or put it anywhere else. So cut it, flip it over. glue it to itself and I kind of need my glasses now so I can see what I'm doing here oh this is just a hundred times better and another trick you want to do just put some tabs to it add tabs to the tape because after that it's very easy to remove so here's one it doesn't have to be perfect. I already finished the horizontal stabilizer and well, it looks real good so I'm happy with this but I was just thinking maybe I can find a better way of doing it so um, I think I came up with another way of doing it which is probably a little bit easier than what I did over there so what I have an idea I want to test right now so and the idea is to see if I can preset these guys in position first okay So that's good. I'm gonna make another one. I'm just gonna put a couple of tabs on it to make sure I have it right. So just putting it on an angle, find the edge here, like that. And that looks pretty good. This looks okay. Okay, so I find my position, right? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lock in the ends of it. Just make sure that I have them nicely locked in place so I'm just gonna put the tape here and go around to the other side and that's good now I just have it nice and solid in place and if you want to you can just put a double tab on it so put a tab here a tab over there and then just lock it in now it's easy to take it from either position out like that okay so I'm just doing this for like a second pair of hands. Now, what I had a problem with is just like when you come from bottom to the top and over or from the top to the bottom coming over, well, to, you know, it's, it's easy to put them the, on the first side first, right? But when you put the second side and slide, try to slide it in, well, that folding over stuff like that gets really crazy. So I'm trying to get away from folding over and doing all this stuff by just using a piece of uh, a longer piece of scotch tape so this is the master plan I'm gonna make a really really big tabby here on one end so what this tab is gonna be used is gonna be used so I can sneak in between them like that and just go through to the other side right and obviously you're gonna make a little tab to the other side where it doesn't matter and I'm gonna make my cutout Okay, so that's a 
cut out and over here I'm gonna overlap them nicely tape them together see that all right so now it's, it's nice and tight right and to insert it in place what I'm gonna do I don't need this anymore so now my hinge the full hinge is exposed right and I'm gonna go on this side where I have the bevel and guess what I'm gonna start on this side just push it in like that and I'm gonna pull 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 down and I'm gonna fold it over here like that flip this over lay down on a flat surface here and and put it nice nice and flat tug on it a little bit and let it stick down so that's one hey I guess that idea was pretty good so um, I'm pretty happy with that here's go number two Big tab, little tab, cut it in half, fold them and stick them together. Like that, that's good. And now you have to think about which way you want to go. I want to go this way, right? So it's gonna go like this. Let's see if I can stick it through. Yep, no problem. I'll go right next to it. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over again. And guess what? I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna lay them down flat on the table, push down. And since I, do, I need like a second pair of hands here, I'm just gonna put it over there so it doesn't fall off the table. All right. And I'm gonna grab this guy. Again, you wanna pull on it lightly yeah. this actually works very good i'm very very happy with this technique this is a lot better than what i did before so i guess it's there to stay Mm -hmm. so this side is done I'm coming back to the opposite side no this is all done all right good so okay they're almost done it's time to trim the ends off so this is one
right. And the last piece of tape. I already see that I'm gonna have a little bit of an interference with this piece of tape around the boom. Well, that's okay. I'm just gonna cut it off a little bit. This should get the job done. The hinge is taped. And right now we're pretty much ready to install the radio. And go fly after it. Mm -hmm. We have movement. I see a little bit of lift in here. Just gonna cut the tape, push it down in there. It looks good. Movement, it's good. All right, I'm gonna install the pull spring on it now. Uh, I already have this hole and I have this in and out like two or three times to you know it's just trying to figure out better ways to do things whatever right but if you have a hard time pushing this through what you want to do you want to get a pair of vice grips like this and just hold it real close like that and what you want to do is just go in there and just brute force just turn this like that at least 45 degrees and just brute force and just push it in Something like that. And once you're happy, when you went through the carbon fiber uh, stuff, you know, just, you know, from that point on, you could just feed it by hand. But right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna with my better fingers because it's already been installed like a couple of times already so so it should go in pretty easy I'm gonna take this end give it a drop of CA I'm gonna see that I'm not sure if you can see it what you want to do you want to pull it until it's nice and straight kind of parallel to the slot and I'm gonna come here give it a drop of CA into the hole and that's good there you go This is touching here a little bit. So, just a piece of tape. So, I'm just gonna sand it off. See? No noise. Good. This is done. All right. I guess I'm gonna do the same thing for the flaps. Put the flaps on the wings and I'm gonna come back. Uh, and I guess we can call this a video right now as far as the tape comes in and how to install a tape on this plane. Yep, I guess we're done. One thing I wanna do, because I don't wanna leave it like that and I wanna have a second hand later on. I'm just gonna tape it like this.
and leave it here for now so they're gonna stay nicely for me for later on when I put the beading wire and stuff like that in here this is definitely gonna help a lot okay that's it thanks for watching um, I hope it helps a little bit it's not a big deal just tape be a little bit careful um, when you make a mistake you can always take the tape off move it a little bit tape it back on it's absolutely normal it's the nature of tape if you want to be cute about it you could probably go ahead and use some of these tapes you know, it's just and you can use it for a hinge it looks nice that look kind of nice or and in the air when you are in the air hey, I guess this is gonna be give you a nice flash when it when it goes around so you see that flash and you know like well I know where my tail is whatever you know there are so many ways of doing this thing just uh, you know I hope this helps thanks for watching